Photoshop Elements 9 includes five new guided edit options in the Fun Edit section of the Guided Edit panel. One of these is a replication or simulation of, I guess, toy camera type photography, and it's called the LOMO effect. I'm going to select this architecture image here and just go up to the Fixed tab and in particular the downward facing arrow and select Guided Photo Edit from that drop down menu. Once the image is open, I'm going to go down to Lomo Camera Effect in the Guided Edit right panel here that you see here. As with all of the guided edits, it's a step-by-step -step process. At the top of this particular guided edit though, we have a before and after example that you can just roll your mouse over and see a before and after example there. Also, we have the ability with the two steps that you see here to click on the steps multiple times to add extra intensity to the effect. So the first step that we have here is cross-processing. That changes the color of the image. So I'm going to click it a couple of times to increase the intensity of this effect. And then the second step is to apply a vignette. That's the darkening of the edges around the sides of the photo and I'm going to hit that a couple of times as well and then just go down and click on done to complete the process. If we go and look at the full photo version now you'll see that we have three different layers associated with the image and the good thing about that is that we can actually come through and select those layers and adjust the opacity of each of those layers or keeping in mind that we have some new masking options available in Photoshop Elements 9. We can add in a mask. We can fill that mask with black. And then we can go ahead and select a brush tool. Make sure the brush is set to white. And we can actually brush in some of those effects where we want them to be and choose to leave them or minimize them in other parts of the photo. So we have a lot more control over what's going on with those effects. So try using the Lomo effect or toy camera effect guided edit and then go in and edit some of the layers for that effect to get a little bit more control over what's happening in the actual image itself.